Good morning, brothers and sisters. 那现在跟你们来去分享神的话语的情况是有些特别。Today, uh, when I share my sermon, it's a little bit, uh, very, it's very special. 因为你虽然看到我的背景是教堂的那个背景，但其实我是在一个香港的隔离的酒店当中跟你们分享神的话语。even though it seems like I'm in a church, I'm actually in isolation in a hotel room in Hong Kong right now. You can see that uh, this past two years, COVID has changed a lot of our daily activities. And many of our family members passed away uh, due to pandemic or disease states. And the CEO actually passed away as well uh, due to COVID in the seminary. Uh, one of the pastors in New York also passed away. And last March, me and my wife both contracted COVID-19, uh, yet God has protected us, which we are very grateful for and very blessed. Uh, back in 2015, my family member, my brother, my father-in-law, my uh, etc. family members has passed away. So do this time, I think about what people leave behind after they pass away. A lot of times they have their will. In their will, they will say things that they want us to do and provide things that they want us to do as well. So when So today's scripture from John 17, the title is uh, The Prayer of Separation. So I can tell that Jesus has a lot to say to us from the passage. So so that's how we will prepare our heart today to read the whole chapter, uh, chapter 17, and see what Jesus has uh, to say to us. Let us first pray together. Lord Jesus, we know you once have came upon this earth. You've died on the cross for our sins and gave your life to us. It is such a precious thing. May your spirit be with us as we learn about uh, your will when before you departed, what your what your words are to us. Amen. We pray this in the name of Lord Jesus. Amen. When we read uh, John chapter 17, uh, like it's a will from Jesus. 
呃，中国人的一句话这样这样说的时候，就理解这句话是这样说的：人之将死，其言也善。So you can read it from a Chinese、uh, idiom type of thing that when a person is about to、uh, leave the earth, the words that they speak are very kind, very gentle. 就是说，有些事情他很想要告诉我们的 ，meaning some things that they want to tell us very urgently. 呃，他希望听的人以后会遵从，以后跟跟着这种方向走的。And the words that they speak to us, they want us to have, follow their direction. So, using this kind of mentality to look at John fourteen seventeen, when you know that Jesus definitely has something to tell us, and asks us to follow this direction. So, therefore, when we use that attitude to、uh, look at、uh, the book of John seventeen, we know what type what Jesus wants us to do. From which I found a point that is worth studying for us today. There are three points that I see from the passage that we should learn. 就是从第一节到第八节看到在世的目的。Of chapter of verse one to eight, it's the purpose of being on earth today. 第二点就是从第九节到十九节看到今世的状况是怎么样。And from verse nine to nineteen, it tells us what the circumstance it is that we are living in right now. 然后从二十节一直到最后二十六节，就告诉我们来世的使命在哪里。And the third point is from、uh, verse twenty to twenty-six. What our future purpose is? 那首先我们来看在世的目的。Let us first look at the first point: the purpose of being on this earth right now. 主要就是谈到在耶稣自己来到世上的时候，他的教师。那他要扮演怎么样的角色的？究竟是什么 ？So we look at what Jesus' characteristic, uh, what his character is like when he's on earth. 那从第一节他说到时候到了。Uh, when he in verse one he says, uh, the time is near. 那因为他知道自己要离开世界了，所以时间到了，他就说，愿你荣耀你的儿子。使儿子也荣耀你，就是对着天父来说。啊、uh, ，So in verse one he says, "Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you." He was talking to the Father, to Heavenly Father. 而且，而且他在这里叫告诉第二节到第三节告诉我们，哎呀，天父，你叫了传兵给我，然后将永生赐给你所赐给我的人，都是他在世的时候讲到说话的时候这个过程。In verse two, he was saying, "Since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all whom you have given,、uh, given him, that's、uh, what Jesus' role is." Very, very clear. That is, he wants to give these to me. The third verse says, "You want to let them know that you are the true and living God, and you are the true God. And because of this, they will get eternal life." And because of this, they will get eternal life. And because of this, they will get eternal life. And because of this, they will get eternal life. And because of this, they will get eternal life. Because Jesus is purpose is being here is to make,、uh, make the Lord. Make Heavenly Father known so that they can look up to Him as the、uh, as the eternal true God. 那第四节告诉我们，他说：“我成全了，我已经做了。” And verse four is Jesus saying that He has done so. 所以第五节告诉我们，他可以去跟天父同享这个荣耀了。And so, therefore,、uh, verse five, Jesus may go up and share the glory of the Heavenly Father. With him. This point, when we see these two verses of the Bible, we know that one person, including Jesus, has a life of purpose. We can see that, including Jesus and us as well, we have a mission while we are on earth. That Jesus is very clear that his role is to play a role. What is his purpose? What are we? Jesus clearly know what his role is on this earth and his mission. Do you and I know what our mission is? You have you ever searched your life and the purpose of your life on this earth? Have you ever searched the purpose of your life and this earth? Have you ever searched the purpose of your life and this earth? Have you ever searched the purpose of your life and this earth? Have you ever searched the purpose of your life and this earth? Have you ever searched the purpose of your life and this earth? Have you ever searched the It doesn't matter what age you are in right now, what age group.、Um, do you know the purpose of your life? That Jesus, 
，呃，是说天父，你差我来到世上，那我们呢是神做的人，那我们在神做的这个人在人生当中有什么的目的呢 ？Jesus was sent by Heavenly Father, yet we were created, uh, by the Lord. What is our purpose here then? 那我们。能不能够好像主耶稣在第四节所说的，我能够完成了，成全了。Uh, can we be like Jesus in verse four? I have completed the work that you have given me. 那我们很清楚的看到耶稣从第六节到第八节告诉我们，他很清楚谁是主耶呃的天父交给他的那些人。In verse from verse six to eight, Jesus clearly states that he knows who the heavenly Father, the people the heavenly Father has given to him. That 第七节告诉我们，如今他们知道，凡你所赐给我的，都是从你那里来的。And because in verse seven he says, "Now they know that everything you have given me is from you." 这些人那要他们做什么呢？就在第六节告诉我们，就要遵守神天赋你的。那个旨意，你的道。And what are they supposed to do? They're supposed to follow the words and、uh, the words that were given to、uh, to them. Follow,、uh, follow what the Lord has told them to do. So. 而且呢，这些人都相信主耶稣是从天天父来的，是相信这一点。They, the, all these people, they believe that Jesus came from the Lord. 所以，当我们今天在看这个故事的时候。这个内容的时候，我们就可以很清楚的再世的目的这一点。So therefore, when we look back on these passages, we understand clearly what the purpose of us being here is. 最近，呃，我的一个学生呢，就写了一篇文章，就告诉我们他的父母给他的这个名字的原因。然后他说：“我究竟有没有活出我父母？”期待我的名字的人生呢 ？So one of my students wrote an essay. Ah,、uh, the essay was telling us about how his name came to be and whether he lived out. Ah,、uh, he was able to meet the expectation of ah、uh, what the purpose of the name was. 那你看，父母对我们有期望，期望可以给我们一个名字。Ah,、uh, our parents have special expectations from us. Therefore, they give us special names. 那天父也对主耶稣有他的名字有期待的。呃、uh, ，Lord， 呃、uh, ，Heavenly Father also have a special expectation from Lord Jesus。你你想一下，马太福音第一章二十一节怎么说啊？呃、uh, ，When you look at uh, first uh, Matthew chapter one verse twenty one, what does it say？ 他他那里说，他将要生一个儿子，你这呃要给他取名耶稣。因为他要将自己的百姓从罪恶里面救出来，原来耶稣就是拯救的意思，要将他的百姓从罪恶里面救出来。In Matthew chapter one verse twenty one, it says, "She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from the sin from their sins." So therefore, the name Jesus means、uh, saving his people. 所以今天当我们看到主耶稣的分离的祷告从。头八节的经文里面看到在世的目的的这一个呃范围的时候 ，So therefore when we look at the prayer separation, ah,、uh, we see from verse uh one to eight what the purpose of Jesus being here is. 究竟我们会不会像主耶稣一样的能够完成这个这个使命？啊、uh, ，Can we also complete this mission just like Jesus did? 而且是能够荣耀天父的 ，and that it also glorifies heavenly father。而且这些他的任务就是叫他所相信的这些接受他的人明白天父的旨意，会遵守神天父旨意的道的这个出发。The mission is to make sure that those who believe will follow the will of heavenly father and follow what he has. Uh, what he has commanded. Now, we have our own names. You and I all have our special names. We might have some special names with special meanings. We might have 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 special names with special
，名字的背后的意义究竟我们能不能够显示出来呢 ？But the meaning behind our, each of our names, have we, were we, are we able to live it out? 那你还有一个不同的名字哦。You actually have a more a different name as well. 叫基督徒。And that is Christian. 那基督徒就是。活出基督的样式的人，呃、uh, ，Christian meaning someone who are who is Christ-like。那我们今天在家里在在工作的地方，能不能够活出基督徒的样式呢 ？Whether we're home or at work, are we able to be Christ-like？ 那我们这个基督的形象是能够荣耀基督、荣耀神，还是会让他受愧呢？受愧呢？ Are we able to bring glory to, ah,、uh, to God, or are we bring shame to the Lord? So, today, when we look at the first point of prayer, the first point of the purpose of the prayer, let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. Let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. Let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. Let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. Let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. Let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. Let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. Let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. Let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. Let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. Let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. Let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. Let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. Let us reflect on how to live out our Christian identity. In chapter seventeen, there's also a second point that ah、uh, we want to learn. From the ninth chapter to the tenth chapter, tells us what the world is like. And from verse nine to verse nineteen, it tells us the circumstance that we are in right now. In the ninth chapter, he says, "I pray for them, that is, his disciples, to pray for the Lord." In starting of verse nine,、uh, Jesus is saying, "I am praying." For for you. Not praying for the people of the world, but praying for those who you have given to me. Me meaning Jesus. He said very clearly that though they belong to you. So we can see in this passage a very important information. 给我们知道，主耶稣一直为他的子民百姓来去祈求。We can see that clearly Jesus is praying for, ah,、uh, uh, for those who belong to the Lord. 甚至我们看到有彼得的例子，就是在路加福音二十二章三十二节，也告诉我们，耶稣说：“我会为你祷告的。” And clearly, we see in、uh, Luke chapter twenty-two, verse thirty-two, Peter saying. Jesus are、uh, saying, "I will pray for you." Because at that time, Peter's image was very like a spiritual person. Because at that moment, Peter seemed very spiritual. But Jesus said, "I will pray for you." 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 但是三十二节告诉我们，主耶稣说：“但我已经为你祈求，叫你不至于失去信心。你回头以后，要坚固你的弟兄。” And in Luke twenty-two,、uh, verse、uh, verse thirty-two,、um, Jesus says,、uh, "But I have prayed for you that your own faith may not fail, and you." Once you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. So we see a very important thing here. We see a very important thing here. Jesus is praying for us. And that is, Jesus is praying for us. So you can understand that when we are in life, there are many difficulties in life. So therefore, you see that even though we have difficult situations on this earth, even though we have difficult situations on this earth, 是主，是主。啊、uh, ，or even similar to Peter, fall, fall on our,、uh, fall on our knees. 但是主耶稣为我们祷告的。Yet Jesus prays for us. 所以这一点是对我们来说是一个很很重要的强身机啊。And so therefore, this is a extra strength point for us to understand. 所以你就可以理解，我们在世上一定有很多的难处。We understand that there is a lot of difficulties on this earth. 但是有一点在十一节告诉我们一个很重要的
信息就是说，耶稣说啊，我现在要走啦，我从今以后我不在世上呢，但是有一样事情就是你们要合而为一，像我跟天父一样啊。Jesus saying verse eleven that he,、uh, I, I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and he wants、uh, us to be united as one. 那在这种的为我们祷告，然后开宗明义告诉我们，我们需要怎么样去生活呢？就是要合而为一。Jesus is departing, yet he wants to teach us to learn to live、uh, in unity, to be as one. 那就是就是说，我们在我们的那些主耶稣的那些属于他的这些人，都会有攻击，比起攻击的这个时候，比起不合一的时候。Which is saying that even though we those who belong to him, there are times to times that we might、uh, have dispute with each other. 耶稣为他们祷告，就是因为有危险出现嘛。Jesus prays for them the specific way because he sees the danger. This danger is what? It is not What is the danger that is not in unity? Then you can imagine, regardless of our family not being in unity, our office is not in unity, or even in our church, there is not in unity. You can already see and already imagine that there is disunity in the workplace. You can already see and already imagine that there is disunity in the workplace, in home, at home. And also including church too. That we just said, Jesus, just now, he is leaving. People will die. Then they 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 And that is we we mankind tend to not be united. We tend to dis dispute with each other. Twelve 节告诉我们，耶稣说，你交在我手中的，我一个都不会失掉，他们不会灭亡的。And in verse twelve, he says, "While I was with them, I protect them in your name that you have given me. I guard them, and not one of them was lost." 那他现在要回到天父那里的去的时候。这些属于他的人，他们心里会很喜乐的。十三节告诉我们这个道理。In verse thirteen, it says Jesus is departing, going up to with the heaven and up with the heavenly Father, and those people are very joyful. 因为耶稣明显对着他的门徒说：“我会离开你们，我要去为你预备地方去。” Because Jesus has told them that he will be departing from them, yet he is preparing a place for them. For them. These believe this he this word of his, their hearts have expectation and are full of joy. Those who believe in his words are full of joy and full of excitement for it. They know they will go to a place that is full of joy, full of excitement. They know the place that they will be going to in the future is very happy and without tears. 但是十四节告诉我们，我已经将天赋里的道赐给他们这些跟从者。In verse fourteen, Jesus says, "I have given them your words." 但是世界会恨他们的。But the world has hated them, hated the words. 因为他们不属于这个世界，所以呢，世界会恨他们。Because they do not belong to the world, uh, to the world. 从这这这经文里面给我们看的很清楚，就是我们一个基督徒愿意跟从神的过程当中，世界不会喜欢我们的，因为我们不同流合污嘛。In verse fourteen, it clearly tells us those of us who believe in, uh, in Christ, who believe in the Lord, uh, the world will hate us because we are we don't belong to the world. So you can understand that we are here. Verse fourteen says that we want to say that we don't belong to the world because we are living in the world. But I want to say that we want to say that we don't belong to the world because we are living in the world. But I want to say that we want to say that we don't belong to the world because we are living in the world. But I want to say that we want to say that we don't belong to the world because we are living in the world. 
in verse 15, Jesus says, I am not asking you to take them out of the world because uh, we are living in the world, uh, but he is praying that um, we, we will be protected from the evil ones. 在圣经里面有小字说, uh, in, in the Bible, it says, um, be, protect us from the evil ones. 就好像我们常常在崇拜的时候会用主挡文祷告一样,我们祷告的时候说,不叫我们遇见试探。Just like when we pray in the Lord's Prayer, um, may we not be tempted by the evil ones.这里很可同样的等于就是说,不要叫我们遇见试探,不是说我们不会遇到试探的这个意思。here it's similar to telling us to not be tempted by uh, not be tempted by the devil. It's not saying that there is no temptation. We are living in the world. It's inevitable that there's temptations all over. So the Lord's prayer, when it says, uh, protect us from uh, the evil one, it's basically basically helping us not to fall into the trap of the devil. When we fall into the temptation, that's when we sin. So in the Bible, the Lord tells us that Jesus has many times, but he has not sinned. In Hebrews chapter 4, it tells us that Jesus has been tempted many, many times, yet he did not fall into it. He, not, he did not sin. Not sinning meaning there is no uh, does not mean there is no temptation. It means that we do not fall into temptation that is occurring around us. So Jesus in the 17th verse told us, so therefore, in 17, Jesus says, Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. Your word is truth. It's very important. What we have to learn today is what the circumstance that with this world is right now. We belong to the Lord, so therefore we call ourselves Christians. But this world is uh, has temptations, it's inev- inevitable. When we do not want to confirm to the world, the world will hate us. What is our defense mechanism against the, against the enemies? And verse 17 is tells us it's the truth. The word is truth, which is the word of God. So, 十九节告诉我们,就是主耶稣说,我为他们的缘故,自己分别为圣,使他们因你的真理神的道也成圣了。So therefore in verse 19 it says, And for their sake I sanctify myself, so that they also may be sanctified in truth, in, in God's word. 所以今天当我们看到这个第九节到十九节,这个今世的状况的时候, from verse 9 to verse uh, 19, we see the condition of the world right now, so we learn this very important truth. Jesus tells us he is united as one with Heavenly Father. He wants us to be united as one with Jesus. And just like Paul says in First Corinthians, you may you follow me just like how I follow the Lord Jesus. Today the world will hate us. 
在我们的手中，我们就可以成圣。Yet we have the truth of God; we can be sanctified. 所以今天当我们看到主耶稣离世的时候，做过祷告的这段的内容的时候。So when we look at this、uh, this passage, when Jesus is about to depart from this world, 那我不知道你听了怎么样，但是我听了就很兴奋，感谢神，他为我祷告，爱我，能够跟他合而为一，然后用神的道成圣。I'm not sure about you, but when I read this passage, I I'm very excited because I can see that Lord, and I want to be united with the Lord and using His Word to sanctify、uh, sanctify me. So, so therefore, following to the third point, 就是从二十节到二十六节告诉我们来世的使命 And the verse twenty to twenty six it tells us、um, the mission for、uh, for our life afterwards. 那十三节告诉我们，我们信的人心里就充满喜乐 Verse thirteen now tells us we are very excited. Uh, those believers are excited. We, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to be sanctified. Ah, we can use the truth to That is the mission after life. That 二十节告诉我们怎么样说的呢 ？What does verse twenty tell us? Jesus said, "I not only pray for my disciples who follow me. I ask not only on behalf of these, but also for those who follow me. I ask not only on behalf of these, but also for those who follow me. I ask not only on behalf of these, but also for those who follow me. I ask not only on behalf of these, but also for those who follow me. I ask not only on behalf of these, but also for those who follow me. But also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word. Wow, this sentence is very precious. Wow, this this phrase 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 is very precious. Wow, this this Because those who were with him in person saved his words and able to pass down to us, and we also are blessed by by Jesus. 祈求什么呢 ？And what were they praying for? What was Jesus praying for? 二十一节再告诉我们，使他们都能够合而为一。And in verse twenty-one, it tells that that they may all be one. 那你就可以理解到这个合而为一不单只在十一节已经出现，现在要就又出现了。You can see that it did not just appear once in verse eleven; it repeats itself in verse twenty-one. 如果你问我的话，我会说，整章约翰福音十七章主题就是合而为一。If you ask me, I would say、uh, John chapter seventeen. The whole whole passage is about being united as one. Why do I say that? Because the whole passage is about being united as one. Why do I say that? Because the whole passage is about being united as one. Why do I say that? Because the whole passage is about being united as one. Why do I say that? Because the whole passage is about being united as one. Why do I say that? Because the whole passage is about being united as one. Why do I say that? Because the whole passage is about being united as one. Why do I say that? Because the whole passage is about being united as one. May, may, uh, you, they may all be one. This phrase occurred seven times. 有五次出现在约翰福音十七章哦。And out of that seven times, five of them occurred in book、uh, John chapter seventeen. 另外两次是在以弗所书保罗说的这个合而为一。And the other two times occurred in Ephesians when Pen, Paul mentioned about being united as one. 耶稣怎么样？呃，保罗怎么样去演绎这个合而为一的呢 ？And how did Paul mention, uh, uh, being united as one? 啊，以弗所书第二章十四节就告诉我们，他因他使我们和睦，将两下合而为一，拆为了中间间断隔断的墙。
uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14, um, it says, For he is our peace. In his flesh, he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall, that is, the hostility between us. You can see that how, uh, how much dividing wall there is between us. So therefore, we want us to uh, be united as one, live in, uh, uh, in harmony. And the seventh time when it mentioned about being united in one, it's from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 7. 那你说用和平彼此联络，呃，切立保守圣灵所赐合而为一的心。Sorry, Ephesians chapter four, verse three, and it says, making every effort to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. 所以我可以再再说，就是从整个约翰福音十七章里面，尤其在这个二十到二十六节。so therefore, from verse uh, John verse uh, John seventeen verse twenty to twenty six, we can see that being in unity is the mission for us. So meaning the purpose is uh, the the purpose of our life after Jesus is uh, after Jesus uh, has departed. So when we think about uh, today's world, what problems that occurs when we are not uh, in unity? When we look at America, this uh, past, uh, past four president, uh, presidents. Uh, the, the election, even though one party has been elected, it's only a little bit over 50%. Meaning, only a little bit over half of Americans want you to be the president. The two parties are fighting extreme, are fighting uh, tremendously. One party gets 51%, the other party gets 49% this election, and the following election, it's the opposite. You can see that the, the title of unity affects a country. Even though they say unity, unity on their lips, yet what they actually focus on is the 51% of people who voted for uh, for them. You can see how important it is to have unity in a country. And this problem occurs in our family and our workplace because we are not willing to be united as one. In verse 22, Jesus clearly tells us how we are able to, um, to bring glory to him. That is, uh, be one, be united as one. In verse 23 tells us we have to be completely, fully united as one.
And it's saying not just lip service saying oh, you will be united as one, but actually physical conduct showing that you are united as one. Uh, look at for, uh, verse 24. What is Jesus' desire? Our lip service of saying we are united, we cannot enter heaven. So, Jesus says, Father, I desire that those also whom you have given me may be with me where I am to see my glory. Jesus has given us the mission, a command uh, after he has left that we need to be united. When we have the mindset and action of being united, we will be where Jesus is. When I see uh, the command uh, of our, our future life, I am silenced by it. And it makes me wonder. Whether I wonder whether uh, if I am able to meet the expectations of being united with one another, just like Jesus commanded. Jesus in here, he is about to depart from the world. He is praying. He tells us this truth. He's giving us the message of being united. Uh, to have a united heart. Take away the dividing walls. What is the purpose for this passage for uh, this message for you today? Uh, before you came to church today, uh, whether in person or on Zoom, did you have an argument with your husband or your wife? This message, message about being united as one, is that a reminder for you? You might have a lot of headache, a lot of heartache because uh, you are not united with someone and you want to re you want to uh, repay back. Do you truly understand what the mission that God has given us, the purpose for us uh, after he has left, including, uh, including uh, the disciples and including our, us too, to be united as one? Do you truly understand? If you understand, if you truly understand, you will step in and follow him and be united as one with one another. May God teach us and help us because he has already told us and give us strength. He has told Peter, once you have turned around, you need to strengthen your brothers and sisters. 
the message message today for you has the same uh same purpose. 那这种的影响力临到我们，我们明白之后，我们就要遵守心出来。This message with its effect help uh, 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 causing you to change. You have to reflect it onto other people around you. 那如果你是用中文的，你就写个合而为一，贴在你的墙头、你的桌子前面。If you're Chinese, you write the four characters and put it、uh, by your bed. 每一次看到这默想主耶稣这个分离的祷告，你想要对我说什么呢 ？And every time you see the word "be united as one,"、uh, you re- remember. Jesus' prayer when he was about to depart, the message that Jesus is trying to teach you. 求主让我们明白耶稣的这个非常有力度的这个祷告。May the Lord help us understand Jesus this very powerful prayer that Jesus has given. 而且他也是告诉我们，这个是他的心愿，对我们。求要我们也应该能够合而为一，走这条人生的道路。That is Jesus' will and His wish upon us, how we should walk、uh, our path on this world. 我们就可以荣耀他。And then we will be able to bring glory to Him. 我们就可以去到主耶稣那里去。Therefore, we will be able to be where Jesus is. 求主帮助，我们一起来祷告。May God help us. Let us pray together. Jesus, ah, we thank you for the message that you have given to us today. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the message that you have given to us today. Because you, in the message before, this prayer was very important. Because the prayer that you have given to us before you depart is extremely important. Because this is your direction to us, and also your expectation to us. Because that is your guidance and also your expectation for us. Let us really understand and then to follow and to follow it properly. May we truly understand your word and also be able to follow through. May God help us. We pray in the name of Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen.